All right, guys. So now what we're going to do is we are going to create uh, some Redux related elements. So beside the com components directory, we're going to create a new directory called store. And inside store, we're going to create a folder called actions and a folder called reducers. And then inside reducers, we're going to create a new file called index.js. And here we're going to import combine reducers, which is a function from Redux. And we're going to import auth from auth reducer. We are going to have more than that, but for right now, this is fine. Let's export default combine reducers. And this method takes an object, which we're going to say auth. So let's save this now. And now we actually need to create the auth reducer. So new file auth reducer dot js. And in here, we're going to create a default state, which is an object. We're going to set token to null. We'll set user to a blank object. And that's good for now. And then we'll create a const called auth. And in here, we'll say state equals default state and action. And this is an arrow function. We're going to open up a switch. We'll say action.type. And for now, we'll say default equals return state. Now let's export default auth. And that's all we need to do in this file right now. Now we're also going to need to configure the store. And to do that, we're going to do it very similar to how we did in the previous videos. So what we need to do is inside of the store directory, let's create a new file called configure store.js. And now we're going to persist the store. And yeah, so let's, let's, I guess do that. Uh, now this is stuff we've already done before. So I'm gonna not, uh, well, let's just try and get it done quick. Um, so you guys follow along as well, but basically let's import create store and apply middleware from Redux. Let's import Redux, or rather thunk from Redux thunk. And we need to install that as well as uh, Redux persist. Uh, so import persist store and persist reducer from Redux persist. We'll install that here in a few moments. Let's import storage from Redux persist slash lib slash storage. And then let's import root reducer from current directory reducers. This will import the index.js file, which is a combined uh, reducer, I guess. So let's go ahead and create const persist config. And just like when we did this before, it's going to be an object with key equal to root and storage. Now we're going to go ahead and actually uh, create the persisted reducer. So uh, const persisted reducer equals persist reducer, which is a function that takes in persist config and the root 
reducer. Now that that's done, we actually need to import this in a way or export this in a way where we can import it into our app. And so to do that, we're going to write export default an arrow function here. And we'll say let store equals create store from the persisted reducer and we'll apply middleware thunk. Now we'll create the persister. It's going to be equal to persist store and it's going to persist our store. And then we're going to return store and persister. Let's save this. And then in our terminal, control C, let's npm install dash dash save redux thunk and redux persist. And this is going to take a few minutes. All right, so let's run npm start again to get our app running again. And then in the index.js file of the actual application, so at the top level, source slash index.js, we're going to open this here. And we're going to import root reducer from store reducers. We're going to import provider from React Redux. We're going to import configure store from store slash configure store. We're going to import persist gate from Redux persist slash uh, integration slash react. There it is. And we'll say const store and persister from configure store. Sorry, equals. That looks, <laughs> there we go. All right, and then what we need to do is inside this render statement, we're going to create a provider and store is gonna be equal to store. And then inside the provider, we're going to also embed a persist gate. Loading is going to be equal to null and persister. It's going to be equal to persistor. And then we just put app right here. And let's save. Now refresh, and I'm going to go to inspect and into react. We're going to connect this, I guess, and we're going to, uh, well, we actually haven't connected anything yet. So in this instance, in app, we're going to import connect from react redux. And down at the bottom here, we're going to say const map state to props 
equals an arrow function that gets the property state. And we're going to wrap it with brackets and return an object. So in this case, we're going to say dot, 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 auth. And then we're going to say const map dispatch to props equals an arrow function that gets dispatch. And we'll say nothing for now. And then we're going to export default, connect, and we're going to wrap the application in it. Now the, the connect method again gets map state to props as a parameter and map dispatch to props. Now let's save this. And in our application, it says auth is not defined and we need to add state.auth. Let's save this. And now when we look at our route here, the app, we can see token is null, user is an empty object. So we've got our uh, Redux store set up, uh, a very basic one for right now. Uh, we're gonna have to create another reducer and some actions, and we will get to that in the next video.